All right, so we got Real Gods of High Stair official gameplay trailer. Let's go to this video. Now, um, if you guys don't know, we got like a lot of um, we got Call of Duty Black Ops Six dropping later this uh, week. Pretty excited about checking that out. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm really excited about uh, the campaign, but we got this right here. I don't think any dialogue's gonna happen, so I'm gonna just turn the audio down. Unleash your uh, Rail God. Okay. What is a Rail? Oh, bro. Ooh. Um, is that a Rail God? Build your uh, roaming fortress. Oh, so it's like a big train, but like, oh wow. Okay. Bro, this is like Monsters Inc. on a train. This is this is crazy. Survive a, a love cra crafting tin. Uh, I couldn't read the rest. I'm not an expert reader. I'm sorry, y'all. Because you can like create like your own character and stuff. Oh, so you just loot stuff as well. Banish them once and for all. Oh, so it's like a, you're taking over stuff too. Where they got the Loch Ness Monster down there? Hello? Real Gods of Hysteria. Okay, okay. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Would I play this game? Mm, probably. I, I, I could play this game. Um, the thing is, like, with these, like, uh, and maybe this is, like, this, is this technically, like, an indie game to you guys? Or, like, obviously, like, let's be honest. Like, all the other, like, popular games out there, whatever, are, you know, made by these, you know, established companies, whatever. I love, like, the indie games. I love, like, the side quest games. And listen, don't take that to heart. I, sometimes, listen. I call them indie games, but at the same, like, same time, I call some games like side quest games. And the reason I call them that is, listen, I'm not being disrespectful. It's because like, if I'm being completely honest with you, bro, sometimes I don't want to play these mainstream games. Sometimes I don't want to play, you know, these just, uh, these popular FPS games or whatever. Sometimes I just want to play some of these indie games. Uh, and I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Some indie games are really that good, bro. They should be mainstream, but maybe that's just me, man. But um, whenever it comes, comes to a game like this, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I could play a game like this. Um, but would it be like my first choice or whatever? No, I'm just being completely honest with you. Um, it looks pretty cool. It looks fun. It does look like there's like lots of things you can do in this game, which is always good, you know, because listen, if you have a game, uh, that's like, that's like really popular, whatever, but like, there's not really a lot you can do. Then if I'm being honest with you, like, yes, it's a popular game, but like, it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a, uh, like a microwave. It's, it's kind of like a microwave. Uh, it's kind of like a, like a microwave meal. Uh, to the point to where like yeah cool like one or two matches of it is great and all but then if it's like the same thing over and over again Then you're probably gonna get bored of it and then you're probably not gonna play it again um, So kind of like, you know, ooh, I was about to say it. I was about to say one game, but All right, so I'm back my bad I had to handle something real quick But uh, like I was saying before like there's like a lot of games that like that are really popular and uh, That seem okay and good to like everybody else, but then like they end up like leaving um, like that game because like it gets really boring. So like, um, and I'm gonna be honest with you I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it now uh, Like Call of Duty Warzone. Call of Duty Warzone uh, It's fun and everything like that, but then like there's not really a lot you can do uh, I mean obviously they have like different modes like the big map the rebirth map, etc But I don't know maybe it's just me but like um, I can definitely play like Warzone for like an hour um, But then like after that I'm like all right cool like, you know, you know, like what else, you know Like can I play like a different mode? And then when I get to like the bigger mode, you know, it's like the uh, it's like the bigger map or whatever. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like the bigger map. I'm just, but that's just me. Um, the only thing that I do like for Warzone is the Rebirth Island. I'm just keeping it completely honest with y'all, bro. If I do, listen, listen, I'm, I'm just keeping it completely honest with you, bro. As soon as I queue up on Warzone, I'm on Rebirth. Was it Rebirth Quads? I think. First of all, yo, Warzone, real quick, hold up, bro. Can y'all please bring back like the Rebirth uh, solo duos, trios, and like quads, whatever? Why do we just have quads? Like that's crazy. And then obviously, like you can you can go in duo, but like you're not going again. Like you're not going in versus in like, like one like it, like a whole like you're not going in versus in squads of like one people. You're going in versus a whole a whole four team, a whole Boston Celtics 2008 squad, bro. That's nasty work. So if I'm being completely honest with you, bro, um, they should definitely add in like the uh like the rebirth solo duo trios and etc. Comment down below what you guys think about this video. And